India has a lot more internal work to do. I think it should focus a lot more on that domestic development side of things, which is the real ultimate internal basis for expanding your influence overseas. Secondly, if it were to compete with China on traditional terms, it would lose. It's not nearly as powerful as China. It would get, quite simply, beat up. That is not something that it should want to happen. Indians talk a lot about wanting to be a different kind of power. They say we're a bridging power. We're a constitutional superpower. We are diasporic power. Lots of different ways to try and be different from the traditional great power model. I would like to see India achieve that. And I would even like to be a part of India achieving that. But I don't think that they have a roadmap for doing so. And as someone who follows very closely how they try to use globalization, recruit the diaspora, and use economic leverage internationally to gain prestige, I see a mixed picture of good and bad, positive trends, negative trends. It's a work in progress. Till they have a roadmap for that, I don't think they should be challenging anyone. I think the roadmap would be some of the things that I you know, sort of hinted at them wanting to do. So it's the economic integration with the United States such that a third of software manufacturing from American corporations now happens in India. Um, it's the integration with China economically such that they can buy into Chinese enterprises and vice versa and create disincentives for there to be you know, sort of conflict between them. There is developing deeper economic ties because there already are deep demographic ties with the Gulf countries where there's so, many, so much Indian labor. So they don't just get energy resources from the Gulf, but they can also project a positive influence um, in, uh, in the Gulf countries. For example, when uh, Iraqis or when Indians have voted uh, in Indian elections or the Iraqi election as expatriates in the Gulf, Arabs have scratched their heads and said, I can't believe these people, who they treat very, very poorly, are able to vote in another country and we don't vote in our own country. So things like this are the kinds of examples, the ways in which India would like to set an example for the rest of the world, but it needs to do so a lot more proactively and successfully for that matter. Uh, before it can really be a role model itself. So.